how to add currency converter in Shopify. Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys in this pretty quick and easy video. I hope this video helped you out. Please do let me know in the comments and yeah, let's get started. Now, if you would like to have your first three months of Shopify for only $1 per month, then you can actually click on the link in the description of this video. This will bring you over to this page. As you can see, start for free, then enjoy $1 per month for three months. So you can actually try Shopify for free for three days. And then after that, you can actually have that $1 per month option. So that's actually very cool. And like I said, if you would like that, then click the link in the description. This will also help me out greatly. So why not? So basically what you want to do is add an app. So if you want to go to, if you click on add app and then to Shopify app store, here you will have the app store and you can basically find anything. So what you want to search for is the currency converter. Now, if you search for that, you will get a bunch of different currency converters. Now, most of these apps basically use the same process. So for a lot of them, it really doesn't matter that much um, which one you choose, but I'll just go ahead and choose the best currency converter. And then um, this one has uh, is free for life, add up to five currencies, three beautiful designs. You can also pay for it to have 160 plus currencies. But you know, these five currencies are usually like the main one. So euros, dollars, Canadian dollars, uh, and, and then like Australian dollars. And that's, that's one more or something. So super easy. Then you want to click on add app. And when you add this app, you'll just have to install it just like that. So um, once that is done, choose the free plan and then click OK. So first of all, you will be in the settings right over here. It says you need to edit your money formats. Click here to see how. So here it will explain. So I'll just show you guys. You want to go to the settings, uh, go to the store details, scroll a bit down to a CD store currency. Then click on change formatting and then you want to go ahead and change the html with currency and html without currency so what you actually want to do is go back and then um copy first of all this code right over there so simply copy that and then put that in front of the dollar so in front of there paste it so it will look like that and then after the dollar you want to go ahead and copy oh whoops uh, this one or after the USD I mean just like that and then for the other one you want to copy it here and then also paste this one right after so this is how it will uh, how it should look like once you've done that you can click on save and now you can close out of there so now you can actually go back then here you can actually scroll down. You can see all of the currencies. So currently you have US dollars, euros, British pounds, Canadian dollars, Australian dollars. So these are the most important ones. Now I have the free version, so I can only change these to change one of these five or all of the five to other currencies. If you have the paid version, then you can add currencies or add all currencies, just like that. And then here you also have like a design and then um you can see all of this basically so here you can actually click on save and now that we have done that you can actually go back go to your online store simply um click on view your store just like that and then here you can see that it now says us dollars euros british pounds canadian dollar australian dollar so just like that i can just refresh real quick and it's still there and then when i switch to euro you can see that these have now changed to euros uh canadian dollars um australian dollars british pounds just like that easy right i hope this video helped you out please leave a like and let me know in the comments and then i will see you next time